Hey guys, it is 7 a.m. and I just got a call from the post office. The chickies are here, so I'm running down to pick them up. Haven't even washed my face, brushed my teeth yet. <laughs> I just packed my coffee in the car and here we go. So let's go get our baby chickies. You hear them? Oh, they're so cute. There should be 16 in there. I hope they're all alive. Let's get them home and in their new house. Meyer Hatchery included this packet of grow gel and I mixed that up and put it in and the chicks started eating on it pretty much immediately so that's awesome I think it's just supposed to give them a little boost. Here's the copy of my order through Meyer Hatchery and right now I don't have anything but good things to say about them. Everyone arrived healthy and happy after being in the mail for two days. Um, they're still alive on day two which is great. So they did throw in one chick for free, and I actually ordered this many just so I could get the discount on shipping. So I think you had to at least order 15 to get the $15 shipping, and if you order any less, then you have to pay $50 for shipping. So um, I didn't really want to order this many because we don't need 15 or 16, but I thought you know I wanted to save on the shipping. So my total price with shipping for the whole order was $101, which is pretty reasonable. Um, I ordered these vari varieties because I wanted to kind of diversify my egg basket. Right now we just have a lot of brown eggs so now we're going to be getting some greens and olives. It is day two with the chicks and they are doing fantastic. Everyone is still alive. I have all 16 of them. I'm going to show you my setup today. Here's our full setup right now. We just kind of made do with what we had laying around. So my husband put this together really quick with some 2x4s and then he just put a little cross brace here so that it wasn't resting on the chicken wire. We do have a couple cats and a dog so we're trying to keep them out because that would be devastating.
Really all I have in here is their brooder plate and little tiny food container, which I see I need to clean out there, and some water. And of course they get the water dirty, so we've been, we'll have to clean that out every day. Uh, we gave them fresh water this morning. Hey, buddy. I will link this brooder plate below if you want to take a look at it and look at the specs. But one thing I'm really excited about is there's a lower risk of fire and my husband is a fireman and so he's always looking at things that are risky and saying absolutely not. Um, so he does not like the heat lamps. So I decided to invest in this and it's awesome. Right now I have it on the lowest setting, but as the chicks grow, you can adjust it to come up higher, which is nice. And it's literally only three pieces. So you just have these two end pieces and this heat plate, and it's pretty warm, but they have loved it. Hey guys. Another thing I highly recommend is chopped straw instead of shavings. If you're trying to cut down on dust, this is a lot better than shavings. The first time we had chicks, we had them in our spare bedroom with shavings and the whole room was covered in dust by the end of it. So chopped straw is definitely good if you want to keep your area a little bit cleaner. We've named this little girl Cinnamon. Oh, and she just pooped in my hand. Look at <laughs> Okay. Yummy. Chicken turds. Look at that fierce predator. Lulu. Is that the chickens? Huh? Is that the chickens? So we're probably gonna keep them inside for a few weeks and then after that point, we will take them out into the garage um, once they're a little bit bigger and can stand a little bit cooler weather. Um, right now it's super cold. Originally, I was going to actually put them in the garage just starting off, but then our temperatures dipped and I'm like, you know what? Let me just put together something really quick so that we can have them inside. So I'll take you outside right now and I'll show you where they're gonna go in several weeks once they kind of grow up a little bit and they're a little more hardy. And then, uh, yeah, you can see that setup. Okay, we have the little kitty pool here. This is gonna be their setup when they come out. And I actually, I usually hang a heat lamp from our winch here, but instead we have the brooder plate which we can use. Um, if they need an extra heat lamp, I can put one out here, but they might be okay with just the brooder plate. and. I put this leftover um, chicken wire that I had around there. It's kind of like pieced together and I'm gonna have to probably do a little more work on covering that up so they don't fly out because um, we actually did cut this up to make the lid for our tub inside. So it's kind of pieced together right now. Um, there might be some amendments made, but anyways, this is where they will live during their next stage. And the last stage will be out there with our other chickens. So that is all for today's video. Thanks for watching guys. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and I'll be sharing more about um, these chicks and their transition to when they come into the garage and then when we transition them into the flock. So I will see you on the next one.